This is Lee Joy Carson, St. Louis Divorce and Family Law Attorney. I want to talk to you today about a subject that's kind of unpleasant but necessary in this time of COVID-19. If you have a living will, a health care directive, and you're thinking about getting divorced, you're in the middle of a divorce, you need to change that document to designate someone other than your spouse as the person responsible for making health care decisions for you if you are unable to do so. If you don't have such a document, you need to execute it now because your spouse will be by default the person to make decisions for you. This is based on two experiences I've had in my life, really quite different. The first, I was in the office, I did not handle this case. Woman filed for divorce from her husband who was very angry, did not want to get divorced. They found her one day while the divorce was pending, laying in her driveway outside of her car, which was turned off and had not moved. She apparently had been struck by the car, struck by the car door or something. She was in the hospital on life support and her husband sought to remove, remove that life support. Her family spent thousands of dollars to get him, get somebody else named as the personal care representative for health care decisions and was able to keep her alive and she survived. Second experience was mine. My client, there was a divorce pending. She and her husband were trying to work it out through mediation. He had a medical event. I don't remember if it was a stroke or a heart attack or something, but he was his brain was deprived of oxygen for an extended period of time. He was in the hospital on life support. She and her adult children were there to visit him. When a woman they've never seen before comes in the room, starts stroking his arm and says, John, you need to wake up. It's our seventh anniversary. Obviously, his mistress. She was, by default, his power of attorney for health care. They asked her every day for 14 days straight. We don't think he's going to recover. Do you want to turn off the life support? She would have been totally justified in doing that. But she decided in consultation with her children that she would not do that because even though he had an affair, that didn't mean he had a death sentence. Guess what? He survived. If you don't have a personal health care declaration, I can send you the form created by the Missouri Bar. Send me an email and I'll send it to you. Also, if there's any questions you'd like me to address, send me an email. I'd be happy to post a video about them. My email is leejoy at thecarsonlawfirm.com. It'll be shown on your screen. Thank you and take care during these troubling times.